lie for a bet. A father once sent his son to the water mill and told him not to grind the wheat anywhere where he finds the beerless man. As the child came to a certain mill, there was the beerless man sitting inside. God helps, beerless man. God helps you, son. Could I as well perhaps grind my wheat here for a bit? You could, why couldn't you? Here, mine shall be ground in a moment, and then you can grind as much as you wish. But the child thought about what his father had told him, so he went outside and up the stream into another watermill. But the beerless man quickly took some wheat and ran before the child into the second mill, taking the other way, so he poured some wheat in there as well. As the child reached the second water mill, he saw that the beerless man was in it as well, so he went into the third. Yet the beerless man once again took some wheat and ran to the next mill down the other path before the child and poured the wheat there too, and so into the fourth one all the same. When the child grew bored of this, he thought to himself, the beerless man seems to be in every mill, so he took his bag off his back and stayed there to grind with him. As the beerless man's wheat was all ground, the child poured his as well, and then the beerless man spoke. Come, son, let's make bread out of your flour. Child still kept in mind what his father had told him not to grind in the mill where he sees the beerless man, but now he was already thinking, what's done is done. And thus he said to the beerless man, Come, let's do it. The beerless man got up, spread the child's flour in the flour bin, and told him to bring the water in handfuls. The child began bringing the water, and the beerless man started to cook a little. And so, bit by bit, when everything had been ground and the man had cooked all the flour, he needed a large loaf of bread and started a fire, so he put it to be baked. When the bread was baked, they took it out of the fire and put it against the wall. And then the beerless man told the child, You know what, son? If we share this bread, neither me nor you shall get anything. But let's instead lie and the one who manages to outlie the other should take the entire loaf. The child thought to himself, there's already no way out, so he said, all right, let's do it, you start. Then the beerless man began telling a bunch of lies, this and that, and as he had lied about everything he could think of and had gotten tired of it, the child told him, hey, my beerless man, if you don't know anything else, that's all nothing. Wait until I tell you one real truth. When I was an old man in my young age, we used to have many beehives. So I would count them every morning, and I would count all the bees, but I couldn't count the hives. Thus I counted the bees one morning, but my best drone wasn't there. Then I quickly saddled the rooster and mounted it, and I started looking for the drone. As I had followed the trail to the sea, I realized that it had gone over the sea, and I followed the trail after it. When I crossed the sea, I saw a man who had caught my drone in a plow, and he was now plowing the fine grain. I yelled at him, That's my drone! Where did you get my drone? And the man replied, Hey pal, if it's yours, you can have it! So he gave me both the drone and the bag full of grain from the harvest. Then I put the bag with the grain on my back, and I took the saddle from the rooster and put it on the drone. So I mounted the drone and brought the rooster along on a leash so that it could rest. But as I was getting across the sea, one strap on my bag somehow snapped, and all the grain poured out into the sea. When I had crossed the sea, the night fell, so I jumped off the drone and let it graze, and I tied the rooster by my side and gave it some hay, and then I went to sleep. When I got up in the morning, I saw that the wolves had come and slaughtered and eaten my drone. Honey was spilled all over, in the valley up to the ankles, and on the hills up to the knees. Then I started to think what I could put the honey in. At that moment it came to my mind that I had had a small axe with me. So I took it and went into the forest to catch a wild beast and skin it. I got there and saw two does jumping on one leg. Then I swung the axe and broke that leg of theirs, so I caught them and took three skins off of them and I collected all the honey into them, put them onto the rooster, and brought them home. As I got home, I saw that my father had been born, and they sent me to the god to get the holy water. Now I had started to think how I could climb into the sky when my grain that spilled into the sea came to mind. 
When I got to it, I saw that it fell onto a wet spot, and it grew up into the sky, so I climbed it up to the heavens. As I had gotten into the heavens, I saw that my grain crops had ripened, and the God had harvested them and made bread out of them. And then he crumbled it and poured it into hot milk, so he was eating it when I came. I greeted him, God helps, and he answered, God helps you, and he gave me the holy water. When I came back, to my misfortune, the rain had fallen, and the sea had come, flooding and taking all the crops away. At this point, I got worried how I was going to get down to the ground. But then it came to my mind that I had long hair. When I was standing, it reached the ground. When I was sitting, it reached my ears. So I took a knife, and hair by hair, I cut it and tied it together. As the sun set, I tied a knot on a hair and stayed on it to spend the night. But what was I to do without fire? I had a fire striker, but I had no wood. At once it came to my mind that I had a sewing needle in my waistcoat, so I took it out, chopped it up and started a fire, and I warmed myself well, so then I lied down beside the fire to sleep. After I fell asleep, to my misfortune a spark sprang up and burned the hair, and I fell head first to the ground, getting buried in it down to my waist. I turned around to this side and that side, trying to get myself out somehow, and as I saw that it won't do, I quickly ran to the house and brought a hoe, so I dug myself out and brought the holy water home. When I came home, I saw harvesters harvesting on a field. The heat had stricken, dear God, enough to burn the harvesters. Then I yelled, why don't you bring here that mare of ours? which is two days long and wide to the noon, and the willows grow over its back. Let it cast shade over the field. My father ran quickly and brought the mare, and the harvesters now began to harvest in the shade. And I took a bucket and went to the water. But over there the water had frozen. Then I took off my head and broke the ice with it, so I took the water. As I brought it to the harvesters they yelled, Where's your head? I reached up with my hand, but my head wasn't there. I had forgotten it on the water. Then I went back hastily, but there a fox had come and was taking the brain out of my head and eating it. And I slowly approached it, and I came close, and I kicked the fox's butt with my foot. It got scared, and it farted out of fear. It farted out a notebook, and when I opened it, this was written inside. The loaf of bread goes to me, and the shit goes to the beardless man. With that the child got up, took the loaf of bread, and went home, and the beardless man was left staring after him.